Uh, Go for it. Hey, this is the Tony D Show, and I'm Sansa, and I'm going to show you what's hot. Any successful career is simply the pinnacle of a mountain of setbacks and naysayers. And no career knows this more than the career of writing. All that hard work. No one sees it. All they see is a story at the end that for all they know sprung fully formed from the skull of Zeus. They don't see everything else. Such as the inevitable rejection. The writer's block. The constant rejection. The realization that you are just not at the level of those that you admire. Hello. <laughs> I'm the producer, co-director, Why I Am a Destiny. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started this out in, um, oh, geez. 99? 99? The end of 99. The end of 99. In the fall or the spring? In the, the spring of 2000. Okay, spring of 2000 is when we started this film, and then uh, it took us till May of 2001 to finish it all up. Uh, long, very long process, of course. Um, Pre-production, into production, and then off to post-production. Now we're hitting all the festival scenes, and I have really don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Hi, my name is Julian Brown. Uh, I was a co-director with Erica here on Why I Am a Destiny. Uh, let's see, the flick is basically about a, a writer, a young writer, who meets uh, his teacher who doesn't agree that comic books are th the future. He wants to direct him into a way of uh, writing for the school literary journal. And the protagonist of our film is just like, you know, I want to do comics, and he sets out to prove him, prove him this is how you can do it. I can make this happen. Um, it's written by our screenwriter, Craig Schwartz. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the flick? Well, I, uh, I'm the screenwriter, and I actually, I was an old friend of Erica's, and I told Erica about the script a long time ago, and then she said she wanted to read it, and then when I was about to give it to her, I said, you know what, this is not going to be right for her. So I stalled her for weeks, which turned into months, because I just thought she's never going to want to do this, and finally I gave it to her, and she loved it. And uh, we went through many rewrites. Uh, a lot of it was cut out. Um, the main reason I wrote it is for entertainment value. Uh, there's, you're not supposed to read too much into it. Um, it's supposed to make you laugh uh, as well as make you cringe, hopefully, at spots. That's about the uh, everything else you can pull out of it on your own. Uh, my name is Leonardo Rossetti. I am the DP, cinematographer, camera operator, and yeah, basically did anything with to do with the camera. Uh, basically, Erica got me into this. Uh, I asked her, she had a project because uh, everybody was looking for a project, and I just said, yeah, why not? Read the script. I loved it. Just being a camera person, loving a script is very rare these days. It was definitely a challenge, considering this is like my first real, real short working with a nice camera, something decent for a change. And it was a real learning experience. And I'll tell you the truth, I'd keep doing it. I'd probably do the same things I did, probably make a little tweaks here and there. You know, us camera people are kind of perfectionists. But overall, I l really love the film. I Julian and I. Hello, little Julian. Um, Julian set up more of the camera angles, the way the film looked, you know, how it was going to be shot, where the camera was going to be placed, you know, um, and, and, and Leonardo did the lighting, whereas I, I worked more with the actors and the dialogue and their performance than anything. So we did work as a team. It wasn't as we took the whole movie apart or anything. Erica also was a producer on this, just by herself, and she just exceeds in producing. She does things that, that I, myself, as a director, cannot do. I, can, I cannot call 20 different bars to get the one location that we can come and shoot at. That's where Erica just cleans house. I'm just so in awe of this woman. I love working with her, and I look forward to working with her again on our next film. For the film at goldenbrownproductions.com. 
Hotmail.com. At hotmail.com. Or if you'd like to email Erica, it's RikaDika77 at Yahoo.com. Anybody else? We got Craig, the writer. If you like enjoying, uh, if you enjoy reading scripts or anything like that, very cool guy to talk to. And you can contact me. Go through Julie and her eye, and then yeah, you know. Any questions? You want a copy of it? You want us to do uh, one of your shorts? Send us a script. Anything? Anything? Yes, we are looking for for scripts or uh, other talented people to, uh, to join us on the next film. So if you've got talent and, and want to be a filmmaker, uh, Golden Brown Productions at Hotmail.com and maybe we can help you help us yes definitely we need crew we need cast we need everything funding <laughs> hello about a green moolah send us your money send us your money we'll make films oh yes uh we ha we have another festival coming up it's called the angel city festival and it will be held this october uh 22nd through the 29th in san francisco so if you're in that area you can go check it out uh, our film will be screened there with uh, a bunch of other independent filmmakers which you haven't heard from so it should be interesting very cool we'll see how we do yeah. One thing I do wish I did before earlier, I met a DP uh, who used to do Third Rock from the Sun and he does the That 70s Show. What I, one thing I suggest for any filmmaker is find a mentor. Find somebody to learn from because they will teach you everything you need to know. Practical experience, I mean the things he taught me in one week is more than I've learned through my entire career at film school. Find somebody to work with, even if he's just a retired old guy girl, whatever, find somebody to follow. Find, even if it's, you never meet them before, find somebody to, you can follow in your position. Director, actor, artist, something. Just find a men someone to mentor you to teach you something new from that because it will always teach you a trick that you didn't never knew about. That's basically what I gotta say. <coughs> and don't neglect commentary tracks on DVDs or laser discs. I mean, you can learn a lot from those. I mean, just just listening to people talking about how they got certain shots. Um, books, books. Uh, Rebel Without a Crew by Robert Rodriguez. I read that book and I I wanted to become a filmmaker. Uh, I mean, just there's so many things out there where you can just go and and find out about making films. I mean, and have fun. Definitely, do not forget to have fun because that's what it's all about. If you're not having fun, don't do anything at all. <laughs> with the flutie! <laughs> with the flutie!